Hello and welcome to the latest in our series of technological profiles for Fortnite Productions Technological Institute of Technology. Today we're going to be looking at the art of phonographic manipulation, or scratching. When you hear this noise, it means you've probably got tinnitus and should seek medical attention as soon as possible to prevent further damage. A solid sample with a quick attack is your best bet for learning to scratch. Like so. First, the baby scratch. This is achieved by moving the record forward one beat and then back one beat. Next, we have the transform. To perform this scratch, you will need a standard phonographic mixer. Set the crossfader to the closed position. Then repeat the baby scratch whilst moving the crossfader between open and close to a set rhythm. Now we have the tear. First open the crossfader and move the record backwards and forwards in a rapid motion for the duration of one beat. Then close the fader to finish, like so. Let's move on to the chirp. Start with the crossfader in the open position and move the record to the beginning of the sample. Push the sample forward whilst at the same time closing the crossfader. Now move the sample back to the start and this time open the crossfader. Repeat as desired. This scratch can be performed double time or even triple time. Combinations of these four scratches can achieve interesting sounds and rhythms as seen in this demonstration. Hey, you're doing just fine. Now let's get a bit more complicated and introduce the crap. Begin by moving the crossfader to the closed position. Apply pressure with your thumb towards the closed position, whilst at the same time drag your remaining fingers against the fader towards the open position, thus producing a fast succession of short stabs. Repeat this action whilst moving the record backwards and forwards like so. Once you have mastered the crab, why not help someone out and pass on crabs to everyone? Now it's time for the single click flare. Stop by repeating the baby scratch with the crossfader in the open position. Continue the scratch whilst closing the fader at the start of every beat. To do a double click flare, repeat the single click flare, but this time, when you close the fader, drag your index and middle fingers across the fader towards the open position in a similar movement to the crab scratch. There are many other tricks to learn, but from these six scratches, you have opened the gateway to a whole new world of phonographic manipulation. We're now going to leave you with a quick demonstration involving every scratch we've talked about tonight. Until next time, Good luck. And remember, all you DJs could suck my d